We're at NITSEC 2013 here in Orlando and had an opportunity to stop by and visit with Dave from uh, Christie. So Dave, if you would tell us a little bit about uh, what's new. I see something really shiny uh, behind us. Yeah, thanks for joining us in our booth here at 2013 ITSEC. Uh, one of the things that we like to point out with Christie is that we really focus on customer problems of increasing the image quality, dynamic image quality, which is what we use in, in simulation and training. Uh, we were actually the first to demonstrate the impact of 60 hertz to 120 hertz and that increased update rate on dynamic imagery with the STEM WU a couple of years, if you remember. Uh, we were the first there and we showed it side by side so you can visually understand what that impact is and tell customers really look at it and get the full impact of what temporal versus spatial resolution and sampling does for you. Uh, they don't understand the interdependence and the, the relationship between those two factors. Uh, the second thing we did is two years ago we showed the STEM WQ, so higher resolution, but again still moving from 60 hertz to 120 hertz and showing the dra dramatic impact right. in the image quality for dynamic moving images. Now, here at Christie booth in 2013, we're showing for the first time at ITSIC the 4K at 120 hertz. So there's been a continual evolution in that regard, and we're the first to show the, uh, the 4K we've been delivering now for uh, about uh, four or five months. Sure, that's great. Now we hear about the 4K in the, in the cinema industry, so how's it uh, been, uh, you know, what's the impact been on the simulation community? Yeah, certainly that's a large part of our market. So what we've done is we've actually uh, leverage the, the development and the technology that we have on the cinema side, in the visualization space, and in the simulation space, and developed a core underlying platform that we call True Life. So Christy True Life is what enables a 1.2 gigapixel per second update uh, processing rate, uh, floating point processing, so the equivalent fixed point processing is much higher than the 8, 10, 12, 16 bits that we might have had in the past. Um, and it is actually what enables the 120 hertz. So a lot of the questions that are being asked on the cinema side and for our visualization customers are the same kinds of questions, but all these same factors also translate into image quality for our simulation customers. Wow, that's excellent. Well, we're taking realism to a new level here at ITSEC 2013. So Dave, thanks for uh, taking a couple seconds and visiting with us and more coverage straight ahead here from the Convention Center in Orlando.